My goodness. Okay. Hey guys, today I have a Spring Trend Nordstrom unboxing. I've got a an array of things here. We're going to have makeup, hand soap, and fashion, and shoes. Yeah, everything. Lipstick, all kinds of good stuff. And a lot of it was placed when I got back from Dallas. And I just went on the Nordstrom like Spring Trends little tab on their website and I already knew some things that I wanted and then I got a few more things that I thought we would try. So I have not looked at any of these, but I just did untape them or whatever just to make it easier. So the first thing is a pair of Nine West heels. Oh, Nine West brings back the best memories. We used to have a Nine West store in our mall and I, that was one of those stores I could walk in and I wanted like 10 pair of shoes. And it was a good price point back when the mall was a thing, you know? So the reason I got these is because they are right on trend with two different trends. I'm gonna say that word too much, probably. I do like trends if I like the trend, you know what I mean? And I do like staying up to date, but my core Love is just classics, kind of like 90s, but it is fun to mix a few of these things in here. And because so many trends just kind of carry me back to other things, like other times in my life. So anyway, this is the slingback trend. You've probably noticed that slingbacks are just all over the place. I know the Saint Laurent slingbacks are just like a influencer favorite. I love slingbacks because I feel like they're less pressure on your toes and your foot in general. My favorite though is an open toe slingback, a peep toe. And I haven't seen many. So if you guys see any that you think I will like, my favorite ever, ever are my Prada vintage slingbacks that I bought. I bought one pair off of the Real Real and I bought one pair in a resale shop in LA. And then I also like my Louboutin. They're kind of like wedges, espadrilles, kind of like all of that slingback. And you know what? Wedges, you can usually get a slingback, but it's just not the same. I want a regular heel. Okay, this one does have the metal heel. I don't know if that's going to be a deal breaker or not, but I will try these on. And I've noticed that Nine West is usually pretty true to size, but make sure you look down below. Each item will be numbered and any notes, like this was too big, this was too small, size up, this was cheap feeling, didn't like it, anything like that, I will put beside the item. And then on to another trend that is big, big, big this season, and that is the denim. Denim handbags and denim shoes with every designer. I think my favorite ones that I've seen are Louis Vuitton. They're just like a pair of Barbie shoes in denim. And just like the, the slides, Fendi and Gucci have a really cool pair of slides. And there's just at every price point, you will see denim shoes, denim sneakers, denim loafers. This is a trend that's very easy and I think everyone can incorporate into their spring wardrobe. Okay, so let's go on to a little box and see what's in here. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, I've been looking forward to this so much. What could be more on trend for spring than the new version of Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess? This is probably my favorite, most used fragrance of all times. And to this day, the original Eau Fresh is my favorite, but every year they come out with a new version and I get it. I have quite a lot of these. So let's open this and see. I'm loving the purple, like lavender and bronzy vibes. I'm loving that lavender is on trend because like that little Walmart lavender cami, I love it. I love the lavender and the light blue, both of those. There's just some, there's some good stuff this year. Okay, Flora Verde. Let's see if it says any descriptive things anywhere. It doesn't, but let's see. Okay, it's light. It's Eau de Parfum. 
Oh my gosh, Brooke, come smell this. Brooke is here. My daughter is here helping me steam. And she knows all about my bronze goddess obsession. It smells like the original. I know, it does. It smells like the original. Okay, she's looking it up for us. Oh my gosh, it's got something. Passionate, Passionate playful, and seductive. That's us. <laughs> okay, gardenia, coconut, and sandalwood. Yay, I'm excited about that one. Yeah, that is good, you guys. And then don't forget about my Tom Ford Vanilla Sex. That has, I've loved that. Okay, I knew this would probably happen, that my hair would start bothering me. So I'm going to put these in. Okay, going into the box further, and I think they're still doing five times the points. If you're a Nordstrom, this is not sponsored, but if you're doing, if you have the Nordstrom card and you use your card, I think they're still doing five times the points on beauty and fragrance. So this is something else that I got. And it did come with some samples. I got some more of the new MAC Silky Maximal Matte Lipsticks. I actually have one on today that you guys have seen before. This is the Honey Love, the, but the new one. And then I have it on with one of the new Hourglass Lip Liners. And then the Tarte Pearl to lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got Whirl. It looks dark. This is just like the lip liner. But in their new, oh my gosh, you guys, I think it could, well, that is so Kylie Jenner, isn't it? I don't know if you're familiar with when she made Whirl really popular. I think it's going to be too dark for me, but depending on your skin tone, you may like it. Okay, Soar, which is one of my favorite lip liners. So I decided to try it, but I'm scared. Yeah. What? What's going on? These are too dark. A sore I can see kind of being able to adjust, but still kind of too dark, especially for spring. But I did see this color. I've never looked at it or tried it, but it's Flamingo. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you guys, I think I struck out on our lipsticks. Oh my gosh, okay. I hate to even, well, let me go ahead, because I mean, I, I don't think they're gonna be able to put these back out once I, the only thing is, there is a slight possibility you could mix that with something. Oh my gosh. Talk about a strikeout. <laughs> okay, none of the lipsticks were that good. Wow. Okay, let me go wipe these off my hand because I don't even want these on my clothes. Hold on. Okay, so let's move on. We can't, can't win them all, right? Okay, this box has something interesting in it. Okay, yes, red. Red is still trending. We know red was trending for fall and winter 2023 2024 but it's still trending that's why i pulled out this vest that i got a while ago at mango and i love red i think i heard someone say that it's hard to find your right shade of red but i just think most people look good in red and it's just i know it gets a lot of attention you know you'll get a lot of compliments it to me it always works so i ordered this and I think that's one of the reasons I was even looking on Nordstrom is I was looking into the red and pink trend to see if they had anything with red and pink because I've always liked that. But this is a jumpsuit from Dress the Population. I got size small, which is, could go good. I'm, I am a size small, but I have a long torso. So sometimes jumpsuits, I'll feel like I have to do this but it's very, very pretty. It's got a nice little collar. Look at that sleeve. Perfect for, gosh, so many different occasions. I love a jumpsuit. It's kind of like a crepey fabric. And let's see, okay, return label. So we will give this a try, but I think it looks pretty. I love that it's a good, good tomatoey red. Okay, here we go. Another pair of shoes along the same lines as before. Still going with the denim trend, but this is more like the Louis Vuitton ones that I saw. 
and it's from the brand Legence. And I have thought about trying these in the past. I know, I don't know if you guys follow So Susie, but she always loves these shoes in the black, I think. So I, when I saw them in the denim, I thought I'm going to give these a try. Look at that. I don't know how I'm gonna like the pointed, but we'll see. I love the shade of denim. I love the heel height. These are one of their best sellers. Okay, and then, okay, this is something I've always wanted to try, and I went ahead and ordered it. I don't know, we'll see. I'll kind of try it with an outfit, but it's the Isabel Morant tote. And this is denim, like a washed denim. And I thought it was gonna be a little bit more black, but I think it's kind of like a blue-black faded. And I got this for just, I'm not gonna use it as a purse. That's just not something I like, but I always have like so many different things like to take to my mom and dad or a return to take and stuff like that. I thought I might appreciate this or when I go to try to try on several different things or when I travel, all of those things. And they always just look so good when I see people wearing these. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, and then this. Oh, yes, some more beauty. This is the Chantecaille Sea Turtle Eyeshadow Trio. So pretty. Packaging. They donate part of their proceeds to all types of like nature reserves and things like that. But the reason I got this is because along with, like I said, the lavender and the light icy blue trending. And I can remember that icy blue was trending. Brooke was, was it when Brooke was a baby or what? I think it was when Will was a baby and Brooke was about four years old. I had a whole light blue outfit from either Limited or Express that I wore for Easter. Anyway, this has the lavender shade in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, look how pretty that is. Can you see it without the camera messing up your view here? Hey, there, that's better. So you can see it has really good colors in it because it still has your good crease color that is a taupey kind of a, hmm, let's see. Yeah, kind of a brown taupey color. And then here is your champagne kind of lid color. And oh, that's like the perfect lavendery purple. I would put this on the lid. So I'll use that soon. So we can tell. Let me, yeah. I mean, it's Chantecaille, so it's going to be subtle, pretty, good quality, but it's not going to be like MAC. It's not going to be a bright, bright color, but I think that is going to be a good one. Okay, this next thing, I accidentally unboxed it without you. I was talking to my daughter, and oh my gosh, you guys, this. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I saw this dress a while ago, maybe even in November or December, sometime when I thought, you know, I'll think about spring when it gets closer because it's so colorful, but you guys, look at how beautiful this is. And it's kind of a mini length, but not crazy. The brand is Donna Morgan. So if you're familiar with that brand, it's kind of like a, it's a definitely a woman's line, but just look at how beautiful that is. It gives me a little bit of Mad Men. It's Mad Men, a little bit of Austin Powers. And a little bit of groove is in the heart. <laughs> Brooke won't remember that one. I love it. Oh my God, please let that fit. I love that. I mean, look at all the colors and the nude and the white. It's kind of like a grown up bright dress. Yeah, Megan from Mad Men. Yep. Ooh, I love that one. Now, you know how they ship everything from like different stores. Oh, oh yeah, we got some good stuff. Okay, the MAC lipsticks kind of were a damper, but I think we're getting better. Okay, another trend that I think is so wearable, I think it's, you know, just fun. It kind of takes us back if you're around my age, and that is the whole polo shirts and kind of like that a little bit, they're calling it different things. It could be preppy, it could be um, sporty, 
collegiate, you know, all of those different things. But, oh my gosh, Brooke, this is your style. She's more preppy in some ways than I am. You don't like it too prissy? If it was like a crop top. If it was a crop top. But it's not a crop top, but I like that. Oh my gosh, I really like that. Does the polo take anyone else back? Love it. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, the new Spanx Air Essential pants with the stripe. I have a feeling these are going to be on repeat like once a week. Like words can't even really describe how the Air Essentials feel. I get the hype. I really think it's worth it. I've tried the Walmart ones. I've tried the um, Amazon. Both of those kind of have, you know, um, lookalikes or whatever, but they're not the same. These are amazing. So loving these. I don't care. <laughs> these are staying. I don't care if they're a little short, a little long. I'm going to make these work. Okay, now this is something I definitely ordered when I got back from out of town. Because when I went to that Colleen Rothschild event, it was in that fancy store. And upstairs in the bathroom, they had this soap. And I was thinking today, I didn't, the, the soap isn't trending, but you know, roses, rosettes. These are still trending and even roses. Like I just got a uh, really summer fun dress from Revolve. I'll put the picture in here that has the roses on it. Like romantic, things like that. So this will go, this will put you on trend in your bathroom. But it is the Byredo Rose Soap. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so now we have something else. I did, I did find something red and pink. Sorry, I, this order is cumulative. I was like putting stuff in, putting stuff in. You're gonna love this and I know it's gonna fit. And this is something else that I think, from my experience, I think I've gotten two or three things, but the Farm Rio is worth the hype. Every time, oh my gosh, Brooke, look at this little dress. Every time I get something from Farm Rio, I love it. And what got me on this, too, is look at the, the beaded? beaded tassels. Yes. So this goes in with the red and pink, and it's just a nice, nice dress. And for the quality, I think they're worth it. Like, everything I've gotten, it's like a piece that I would wear over and over. And when I went to go visit my friend Sheila Fajal, who budget is not really an issue for her most of her dresses that we went when we went to dinner and everything were from rio i think she likes them because i think they're from brazil too but yay i love that so i hope you saw something that you liked and i hope you enjoyed this i hope you're getting excited and ready for spring thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye